Hey, today we're gonna to talk about how to clean off thermal paste from your CPU. I was gonna do this as a short, and then I realized this is far too much information for a short. Speaking of shorts, our previous short featured this. Next, install your CPU, and don't forget to add thermal paste. But don't forget, add more thermal paste. I like to go back and add more thermal paste and thermal paste. So I figured just in case anyone took that seriously, I might as well at least show you how to clean up your mess. Get amazing prices on the brands you love at Micro Center. Micro Center has over 30,000 items in stock, including desktops, laptops, computer components, monitors, TVs, and more. Not sure which parts to choose for your next build? Then use Micro Center's custom PC builder to find compatible parts, create your parts list, add them to your cart, and use same day pickup at one of Micro Center's 25 locations nationwide. And if you're not comfortable building it, one of Micro Center's professional builders can build it for you as fast as same day for a fee. And if you need ideas for a build, then head to Micro Center's build showcase for great build inspiration, or submit your build for others to see. To see everything that Micro Center has to offer, click the link in the description below. So we're gonna need some stuff to get this done right. The first thing we need is your thermal paste, because I have to make the mess. <laughs> anyway, a soft bristle toothbrush, soft bristle. I cannot stress this enough. Um, blue shop towels, isopropyl alcohol, which I don't even have out, I'll go grab it in a sec. And then some sort of either canned air or this computercleaner.com pressure blower thingy. Um, and I'll show you why in a second here. But we're gonna, we're gonna talk about how to clean the top of the CPU, maybe if it gets underneath inside the pins, which is actually kind of common with AMD every now and then, and then potentially even if it gets down in the socket, because you'd be surprised how easy it is to actually clean thermal paste out of all these cracks and nooks and crannies, um, which I think a lot of newbies get afraid of. Like, oh no, I got thermal paste on my pins, my CPU's now ruined. So anyway, let's get to it. So to just show you, you can see I have a brand spanking, well, it's not brand spanking new, but it looks like it because I've cleaned it. And I've done this video already and just decided to do a long form. Anyway, as you can see, there's no thermal paste really, except for the little corner right there. There's nothing in the pins, there's nothing in the socket. So we're just, right now, we're gonna kind of be like, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you'd be surprised. I don't ask me how people get it down there, but they do. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of, oh, 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 yeah, just get it, oh, look at that. Look at that. That would freak a lot of people out right there, huh? Yes, it would. You know what also might freak some people out? Um, oh, see, now it's on the board. This happens, oh, look at the stringy stuff. Oh, no, there we go, yeah. It's so, this is, let's get it in there. There we go, look at that. Nice. Okay, now to make the extra mess look a little bit more realistic, let's do this. <laughs> look, I have to, it's kind of like stage makeup. It looks ridiculous, because from, from afar, it looks okay. I have to exaggerate this to prove the points every now and then. So now let's take our cooler and just... <laughs> See how I just picked it up and it went already? Yeah, okay. This is a realistic situation of what might happen to some people. It kind of gooped over on the side. It's over here on the little mechanism. You know it's already underneath the pins. So what do you do? First and foremost, blue shop towels. I love blue shop towels. The best thing you could probably use is gonna be like coffee filters, honestly, because they don't leave like fibers behind. Blue shop towels do a really good job at also not leaving fibers behind, but when it gets wet with the isopropyl alcohol, it can start to shred. So I tend to go through a lot of blue shop towels. Um, I highly recommend not using a microfiber towel. I've seen people use cheap microfibers because they just throw them away. The problem is if you look on the motherboard around the socket, we've got these like surface mounted things or SMDs, right? But microfibers can act like little hooks and kind of get caught on that as you're trying to wipe and pull it right off the surface. You don't want that. The towel will tear, whereas a microfiber will definitely pull it off. Now we're not gonna start by spraying isopropyl alcohol in there yet. I like to just take a dry blue towel and get up as much of the stuff as I can first. The downside about blue towels and blue thermal paste is you never can tell where it's at and every now and then I'll grab it and it gets on my fingers. But anyway, I'll try and clean the top of it and get as much of this off as I can. Now if I were repasting this and I knew the system worked, I would probably just leave it and leave all that extra paste there because I'm a slob, but maybe you're not a slob and that's why you're watching this video and you're like, how do I make my computer seem a little bit less like a snob? A snob? Or slob, whatever. So it's only a snob if it has a 40 series in it. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna just try and get some of this excess off the edges, which at this point is gonna kind of be impossible. So I'm gonna go ahead now and move on to the next step, which is we are going to pull the CPU out 
<laughs> okay, I might have gone a little bit extreme. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with the socket in a minute. The pins on an AMD CPU uh, are actually fairly robust, but if you take your towel and you fold it over a few times, you, you'd be surprised at how durable the CPU actually is. So just be careful not to like slide it because you don't want to bend any pins. I do have a tutorial on how to fix that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to just spray a lot of the alcohol on there. And we're going to take another towel, fold it up to a couple times so you get this kind of a sharp corner. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just run it along the edges just like that. Fold it over and continue this process to try and get as much off between the IHS and the green PCB or the substrate as possible. And the reason why I like to spray it around the towel right there is I got it on my thumb, but now I can just wipe my thumb on the edge because I was handling it there. So I'm not just redepositing it elsewhere on the outside of the CPU. Another little bonus tip is if you have one of these little spatulas or you have a piece of plastic that is a kind of a pointed corner, you can use this to just sort of scoop away some of the thermal paste as well. Just anything designed to get it out sort of in bulk like this. This is just about being anal now at this point. You don't have to clean all the edges like this, but I'm trying to show you how to get it to look like pretty much a brand new CPU again, if you need to. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the soft bristle toothbrush here. I'm gonna spray my CPU with isopropyl again, and I'm just gonna lightly at a 45 degree angle so the bristles can get down between the substrate and the IHS, Go one direction, not back and forth and back and forth, because then you're just smearing it around. We're gonna work it all to one side. So back, I like to pull towards me, and then wipe it off, or you can use a separate towel. Get it wet, sort of wipe it off, and then do the same thing. Turn it 90 degrees, start pulling back towards me. And what we're gonna do now is take either our canned air, or in my case, my little blowy Matron daily bobber here, and blow off the excess. Careful not to blow it right out of your fingers. It can't happen. The nice thing about the alcohol is it dries very, very fast. Now I'm just gonna take the alcohol and do one more clean wipe on the top. Now check it out. From the top half, you can see we basically have thermal paste on my fingers because it gets everywhere, but you can see we basically have what appears to be just about like a brand new looking CPU. If there's a little bit left, just take your damp towel with isopropyl again, just sort of give it a little wipe. There you go. The top is now perfectly clean. This is what most people would need to deal with. Like most people don't have to deal with getting it down inside there, but it has happened. I have absolutely seen people get it down inside the pins and ultimately, which would also equal down inside the socket. Now this is obviously applying to AMD CPUs because these are um, pin grid array, which is basically where the pins are on the CPU. Obviously it doesn't apply to AM5, AM4 and older. With Intel, what we're gonna do for the socket would be extremely difficult, it'd be very damaging, but for AMD we can at least get this done. Same thing, we're just gonna spray our isopropyl down inside the pins. We're gonna take our brush and we're gonna do forward and back on this one. Now we're gonna do this in only perpendicular motions. So we're gonna go along the rows of the pins. So back and forth. And you're not adding, you're not pushing down. The bristles are just automatically gonna slot themselves between the pins. And then that's gonna allow us to slowly break down the thermal paste. Cause thermal paste breaks down with isopropyl alcohol. All thermal paste does. And you can see it's just sort of starting to fade away. Now, once I go the other direction, Don't do circles, go straight line. That way you don't accidentally bend some pins. But you can see that one is already gone completely. So we'll do the same thing over here. Now the reason why I said we're going back and forth on the pins and we weren't on the IHS is because on the pins right now, we're trying to dilute and completely just work the thermal paste out of the pins by simply completely dissolving it with the alcohol. So we're working it in back and forth. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of deal with like one row. See how the AMD CPUs kind of have a square that's blocked, nothing in the middle. So I'm only gonna do this side right here. Turn it 90, do that side. Turn it 90, do this side. 
One more time for good measure. Dry it off. Take a fresh shop towel. And there we go. We now have a good as new CPU. Just a little bit of residue on the edges there, which again, we can wipe off with a dry towel. You can see now why I say don't use a microfiber because a microfiber can get hooked onto the pins, yank a pin back, which you might be able to straighten back out depending on how far it was bent. If it's bent too far, it'll just break off when you try and fix it. But there we go. There's our CPU, completely like new. All right, this is the part that's gonna creep some people out, but we are going to have to fill our socket with alcohol. Don't worry, your system's not on and it's not uh, conductive, so that'll help. But anyway, I'm gonna start with the high spots here because I wanna get the thermal paste to sort of work its way down to the lower levels. That way we can just blow it out of the system. And eventually what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the bristles down inside of the socket here. And you wanna be careful because there are pins just like what's on the inside of an A or an Intel CPU, or there are pins just like on in the inside of an Intel motherboard down inside there. It's just they have this little sliding cover on top of it. So we don't want to hurt any of those pins down there. But right now we're just sort of doing a high level wipe down. Again, the bristles aren't gonna hurt anything on the motherboard surface when it comes to any of these SMDs, as long as you're not pushing. It may look like I'm pushing, I'm just letting the weight of the brush do the work. I'm not actually pushing down. Rinse and repeat. And yes, it's getting all over the board as long as we don't let it sit there like this constantly and it dries off, it won't etch your plastic. Isopropyl alcohol can cause plastic etching where it'll change its color, but obviously if we work quickly, we we'll want to deal with that. Now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just poking at the pit, at the holes because I'm trying to get the bristles to go down in there. But this next part can get a little bit messy, so I'd highly recommend you put a towel down on your desk or table or wherever you're doing this because we're literally going to use the air now to push all of this alcohol through the socket and carry the thermal paste out with it. You can see the thermal paste completely broken down. That's why it's all blue and powdery looking. And I'm gonna try and push it all one direction. I don't want it to come down this way. If it does get on the PCIe slots or something, it won't hurt anything. I just don't wanna discolor anything. But anyway, here we go. You can see right now that's kinda of grody, but that's okay, we're still, that was only the first pass. So I'm gonna literally rinse and repeat. So you can see anything that just sort of blue, blue residue everywhere will just wipe off. But you'll notice it's kind of a little bit of a powdery look left to it. This is where the brush comes in handy. So we can take the brush and literally just wipe that powder away. You can use a smaller one too to get in all the nooks and crannies and stuff. All right, so now if everything went according to plan, I should be able to put my CPU back in there. Kind of latch it down and we won't get anything on the pins because all the thermal paste has been cleaned off. So there you go. If you do happen to accidentally get it just everywhere, which sometimes happens to new builders, don't freak out. Obviously you need to do this with it out of your system, but it's not that hard uh, to get your system back up and clean by just using some toothbrush and some alcohol, a little bit of patience. And uh, next time, don't forget to add your thermal paste.